All right, guys. So today for beauty class, it's not going to be your typical beauty, like everybody thinks, like makeup or nail polish. It's going to be um, essential oils. So we're going to make a candle out of essential oils or with essential oils. Does anybody know any benefits from essential oils or what they are? Nobody? Mm -hmm. Okay. So essential oils are stuff like, um, it's like a stress reliever for something to help you sleep better at night. Let's see. And the three that I have today, I have, these are the ones I had at home already, but I'm going to use one of these and we're going to make a candle out of it. So it's going to be a homemade candle. Um, everything I got from the dollar store. Yeah. So I got essential oils besides essential oils, everything else is from the dollar store. So I got um, some candles that are unscented because our essential oils are going to scent the candle. And then I did get a candle holder, which is pretty big, but it was from the dollar store. So I thought it would be neat, but let's get started. I'm making these. Okay, so first, I already started doing my double boiler. You have to have a double boiler to um, melt your candle wax. And I didn't have any of the wicks. I don't know if you can see in there. I didn't have any wicks. So I'm just melting a candle to get the wicks out of it because I'm going to reuse them to put them in my new candle. Has anybody made any uh, homemade candles before? No. I I do make but not candles. I have. Hey, go ahead. They're they're pretty neat. I've never made one myself, but I've smelled them and they do smell good. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is cut up our wax. I have no idea how many to make, so I'm just kinda winging it here. Okay. So we have our unscented candles. And we're just gonna chop them up. And remember, if you can't do something by yourself, ask somebody to assist you if you don't feel comfortable doing it. And we're just gonna chop it up. So when you chop it up, it's easier to melt. So I'm going to add this to my double boiler over here. I already have some stuff already in there, but I'm just going to add this to it. My, my and then we're just going to wait for that to melt down. It'll take a couple minutes. My okay. Hi, Marla. Hopefully, I don't make too much of a mess. Okay. What scent do you guys want to? Um, they don't really have names. They just have. It says. Can you see it? it? Says rejuvenate. This one says rejuvenate. This one says peaceful, and this one says zen. So. Peaceful. Peaceful. Okay, we'll do that one. I've never smelt it, so we'll see what it smells like. It smells pretty good. 
Let's see. Draws peacefully. It's peaceful. So this is like the therapeutic one to where it would relieve stress or, you know, help you sleep better at night. I don't use it myself, but for people who have anxiety, they say that um, essential oils are um, good for what, what, what you. Use, what do you use your, your oil for? Um, these ones, I, I don't, I haven't used these actually. These are still brand new. I've never use them yet but you can use them in like the wax warmers if you have those at home or um i think you can put some in the bathtub as well and then the the um no. the heat from the bath will make it like when you are sick you put stuff in the bathtub yeah you can put like a drop or two in the bathtub so good yeah it would smell it would make your bath your bathroom anyway smell really good but they do have um warmers that you can put these in as well but I don't have one okay so this is our our wax so far starting to melt pretty good are you doing one or two um well I already had some I'm just going to do one candle, but I already had some in here mm. melting mm. Uh, because I needed to get the, the wicks out, you know, because you have to have your wick to light your candle, which, which is right here. Yeah. But those are what is inside the candle that you light um, to melt the candle. So you can do what? What is it? You're only making one. I'm going to make only one candle, but I'm going to use probably like three wicks in that uh, candle holder because the I'm candle holder is pretty big. So I'm going to use about three wicks. I'm going to put up another one of these candles to get it melting. Yeah, three wicks. Yeah, three wicks. Hi. Now it's right. When when I when I saw I I when I saw. Hi Ryan, how are you? Good. Okay, and just remember the smaller you make these, the faster they melt. So if you do like little sprinkles like this, they'll melt pretty fast. It's like the bigger chunks that take a minute. Okay. So you guys can see me. You see what I'm doing. But I even I saw something online. Um, if you wanted to change the color of it, um, you have some like old eyeshadows that you don't. That you're just not a fan of or you don't use anymore you can put those inside of the um the wax to change the color to match your house or whatever i thought that was a neat idea okay put these in I want to get it all over my stove because then they're going to melt. Can you hear it cold in the book? Hi. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. 
What are you gonna do going out of your room? See how fine that is? Kind of looks like snow, but it'll melt into a liquid. Mm. Oh, I mean, they do have wax beads that you can buy, but I figured this is just cheaper. It's gonna make a little bit more of a mess, but. I can't on you. I want to count on you too. <clears throat> okay. And that's what I'm going to do. You guys see what's going on in the pot? It's melting pretty good. You guys want to make it a color? I can get some eyeshadow and put it in here. Oh, I love eyeshadow. <laughs> so do I. What color, do you guys, what color do you guys want to make this candle? What color? Any color. Black. Black. Um, blue, green. There's, I have, let's see what color I have. Let's see what color I have. Pink, purple. Pink. Hi, 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 right. There are uh, there's a bunch of different uh -huh. shades. I'll go get them so you guys can at least see them. Uh, Be right back. Hold on. Okay, I found a few. So here's, I have purple. It's like a dark purple. I don't know if you can see. I have that one. I have a blue. I have like a greenish teal or a yellow. So blue. what color? I want blue. You want to do blue? Yes. Okay, we'll do blue. So it's like that. And we're just going to add that to the wax to change it and make it a blue candle. OK, so first we have to put the wicks in before we add the wax. And how I saw them do it was they hot glued it to the bottom. So we have our dart open and then they kind of had a string. See if I can do it. Okay. Okay, so since we're doing three wicks, I need three of my strings. Well, wicks, I guess you would say. And then I have my hot glue gun. Okay, so I'm going to put 
with some hot glue at the end and I hope they stand up. Can I ask what you're making? I'm making um, essential oil candle, like aromatherapy. Candle. Oh, you're making it, you're making it a candle? We're making homemade uh, aromatherapy candles. Oh, homemade candle, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We're gluing the end and then we're gonna stand it up. And hot glue dries pretty fast, so just give it a second. And then my next one, go the end of it as well. They say to make these stand up, you're supposed to have like a, um, I don't know, like a, a little, like a stick to go across. But I think I'm going to use just um, my. This one around. Yeah. The only thing is, is that it takes about a day to dry. So you guys won't be able to see the finished product unless I join in yeah. another class to show you guys. But yeah. I'll check it in. Okay. And then the last one. You just wrap it around. We do it. I'm making a candle. It's kind of hard to see. The wick makes it light so it will burn. But these will get cut. You don't need to leave them that long. I'm just kind of what I had. So. Okay. Now we're going to add the blue to our wax because our wax is completely melted. There's still some wicks in there, but let me get those out real quick. And then we're going to dump the wax into our jar. And it has to be in a spot where it's gonna oh. be able to stay. Like So what? I don't recommend you move it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the blue eyeshadow and mix that in. Mix that in. Mix that in. Kind of shimmer, it's pretty. Do you guys see it? So we'll add that and then our essential oil and you guys pick peaceful. Is that right? I think it was peaceful. And we will add a few drops because we want it to smell really good. Maybe even like half the bottle. Okay. Need to pick some coleslaw or something. Yeah. 
as the whole thing. Sounds good. It's really good, actually. I just ended up adding a whole bottle. Okay. Um, yep, it's gonna be a big candle. Well, that's a big case or a big uh, jar, yeah, so yeah. I wanted to make it make sure it filled up all the way. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to pour it, and hopefully I don't make a huge mess. I'm going to put some paper towels down just in case. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try and make it to where it doesn't splash everywhere all over the... And I did use an old pan, so hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much. Okay. Uh, I'm making a mess. Oh, so I'd say about right to there. Like a lot of the blue stayed on the bottom. Right. But it is a blue candle. Looks pretty neat. Blue candle. So yeah, so if you wanted to make your own candles at home, instead of buying the ones in the store that are expensive, you can make your, like, customize it and make it your own scent. But that is it. Wow, find it, you find it, you find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not blue. <laughs> so does it look blue? It's unique. It's blue.